from back to finish that um one Excel homework that I was halfway done with. Um, we did the first two step. Well, this one step because the step number one was just opening it. We did the nested if function in the first video, and I'm gonna go ahead and try to finish this in this video. So this is for chapter one two credits for those students who are taking one fifty four. Mm, where's my file here okay so i'm in step three now it says cell d13 to d16 enter the left hand endpoints for the range given in cell c13 616 and then in the next column enter the class year corresponding to the range okay and for the class years we're using first year sophomore junior freshman don't we usually call them freshmen? Why are we calling them first year now? But anyways, that's the word I want. So let me go into the table and let's type in the endpoints here, okay? So the left hand endpoints. So if a student is a first year, his credit is going from 0 to 32. So the first number is 0, basically just a nest left number that we see. Next number is 33, because if the student is a sophomore, the smallest number of credit that student can have is 33. And then 65, and then lastly 97. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is it 97? Senior should have credit greater than 30, 96. So yes, um, 97 is the smallest number of credit a student can have and still be considered a senior. Now let's keep going. The class years. Um, I'll type first year, making sure that we're not making any typo, because you know how my math lab will grade it. Um, next one is sophomore. Sophomore. Next one is junior. Junior. And last one is senior. It's too easy to be true. Step number three was just typing. Let's see if that will, I think that may be it. And we'll know if I messed up because I will submit it with you here. And then if there's anything wrong, we'll look at the rubric and fix it together. Now this one is difficult, guys. We look up. I don't know, maybe you learned it in class, but I never really went over this in my class. All right. In cell C20, use the VLOOKUP function to determine the class year for the credits given in C6. I mean, I got my beautiful nested function over here, and if I'm sorry if you didn't get to write down or take a screenshot of it, but let me go ahead and kind of show you right here. I hope I don't get in trouble for helping too much because I guess some, some I don't know if your teacher wanted to kind of learn this on your own, but well, I just, I just, I'm just trying to help you, right? Okay, so that was the step number two. But let me see, this is kind of a little too much. So hopefully if we look up, we'll make it easy for us because we gave them the table and everything. So here, let's start. Type in the equal sign and give the function name we look up. We look up. Oh, there we go. There we go. I clicked on it. And the first value they want is the look up value. We want to look up if Bella is a freshman, sophomore, junior, or senior. So first thing that I will click on is, I want to click on the cell that has Bella's credit, which is C6. Click and do the comma. Now let me zoom in because Excel always helps us, like what the next thing is. The next thing is table array. Click the table, or I'm sorry, don't, don't, I, I shouldn't say click the table. Select the table. Look at what I'm doing. I'm clicking on that first cell with the zero and I'm clicking and dragging down all the way to the senior cell. So I selected D12 to E16. Let go and then put the comma. Next day one is column index number. I want them to give me the class years. Now look, in my red table that I selected, do you agree with me that column one is the left hand endpoints and column two is class year. This is a second column. So I want you to type in two, two and the comma. 
And the next one is usually exact match, but we don't, we're not looking for exact match here. Um, because look, this table has 0, 33, 65, and 97. They do not have the exact number of Bella's credit. Bella's credit was 47. And that can change to anything other than 0, 33, 65, and 97, agree? So we don't want the exact match. I just wanted to do an appropriate, um, approximate make match. And I looked it up because I wanted to share that with you in this video. What does it mean, approximate match? And I literally just Googled it. But the approximate match returns the next largest value that is less than your specific lookup value. That's why I'm using it this time. So I'll go ahead and click on true for the approximate match. And then I can close the parenthesis and hit the enter. Hey, it's okay, Luna. And we'll hit the enter button. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm going to have to stop this very soon. So I got the word sophomore. And that is true because Bella, hey, she is a sophomore. But what if I change it to 100? I should see senior popping up. And that's true. So I'll go back to 47 and I'm going to go ahead and submit this because I have to stop this video. But let me show you this so that you guys can type this in your um, homework. So here you go. You can stop the video and see what I have entered. Okay, let me go ahead and save this file. And I will submit this on my lab to see if we get 8 out of 8 or whatever your perfect score is in your class. I truly miss teaching this class. All right, I'm going back here. Oh no, I have to go back to the assignment tab. We only did half of it in our in our first video together, so I'm about to do. Um, I'm about to submit the rest of it. And I think you you should be able to submit multiple times on your homework too, right? So I'll click this and submit it. Submit for grading. Kudos. And right, now I'm going to the grade book. Because they should have graded it. Like immediately. Hey, <laughs> look at that. I'm so happy. It says 8 out of 8, 100%. So I hope this was helpful. Um, even though I never assigned this homework in my 154 class, which was summer of last year. Um, this is a good one. Maybe I will assign it in the next semester since I created a video for it now. But, um, you know, I have different classes this semester, so I don't really have too much time to go over um, fun Excel homeworks this semester. But um, I'll try to come back and do a couple more because I truly enjoy doing these. Right, and that's it for this video.